We got, we got the suite, the presidential suite. That's what they told us. Oh, faces the wrong way. Hold on, 712, we're gonna go 702. Oh, it's the right way. Yeah, it's the right way. This is the James Conrad suite, no? Uh, Oh, why is it going up? They said it was going down that room. You lost? Is it John Lambert? No, this is right. Oh. No, it's gotta be right. It's gotta be wrong. It's the numbers no, going no. up. What are we? The Weiss, no, it's gotta be right. What's the number of the room? 702. 702, 702 the numbers are going up. We're going the wrong way. Right? Yeah, you're right. 720, 721. Wait, wait, hold on, bro. Yeah, 100% the wrong way. <laughs> Look at the arrows. Oh, yeah. no, I, no, no, dude. What I did was, I looked at this and this. Yeah. This was this. No, this is this. The Z Suite. Insert card for power. Oh, I put a card in for power. This is the Z Suite. All right, pretty cool. We got, we got a living room. Oh no, we got we're in the same room actually. Oh no, wait, there is another room. Oof. Dude, dude, two bathrooms. Welcome, Jordan. Silver. Dude, check this bathroom out. You walk right into the bathroom. Into the shower. Oh, man. This is cool. Thank you so much, Hilton. We love you, York. All right, so it's 6.24 a.m. I'm doing the morning announcements in Dallastown area middle school. We're in New York, Pennsylvania, so it's early. Last night I slept about three hours because I just, my mind was racing, but sometimes that happens. Not all the time, sometimes that happens and then it doesn't matter, it's showtime, we gotta go. And um, so it, I'm doing two events today. So every event, I bring these necklaces by Camuso. I wear one myself. So before I, when I get up in the morning before everyone, I open up a brand new one and I put it on because this is the, I think this is the most important part of my, of my show because I, I give away one necklace and one of these necklaces, you know, is for somebody that really deals with anxiety. Somebody that just has that feeling where you, it feels like the butterflies, but it's not the good butterflies, and it's every day, and you just can't get rid of it, and it's growing roots, and it's just getting worse and worse and worse. And I know that feeling, because I've been there. And you just want it to go away, and you wake up and hope that it's gone, and it's not gone. So, I give out this necklace, and it's a breathing necklace. It's breathing so they can just breathe and, re and remind themselves that it's gonna be okay. But more importantly, I want them to remember the moment. Like, the moment I, I pointed to them, and I was like, hey, you, I see you, I get it, and this necklace is for you. You know, and I think that moment is actually more powerful maybe than even the necklace, but that moment will last forever with them, and they'll always have this necklace as that reminder, so it'll be such a special moment for them, because there's only one, right? And when there's only one that shows, you know, you know, kind of the rarity of, hey, I picked you, right, to wear this, to keep this in your life when you have anxiety or you're nervous. So today I'm going to pick two students, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. This is the necklace, you know, that I wear. And um, I hope that moving forward from that point on, they remember that. Even if they don't blow into it or use it, right, they, it's on their neck and they're like, hey, it's going to be okay. Like, I know it's going to be okay. So that's what we're doing today. But it's been a long week. It's been a long two weeks. You know, I had a little bit of a cold. And this is what it's like. It's early mornings. I was in the gym at 4 a.m. just trying to wake up a little bit. We're gonna get some coffee. I really can't eat before I speak because, you know, it kind of messes me up. So, um, you know, it's been it's been a, it's been a long couple days. So we had last week we had Bootin, Roxbury, Roxbury had two sessions, Verona. Then I flew to California on Thursday. Did two sessions in Cali. Flew home. Then we had Colts Neck on Tuesday. Then we had Staten Island, St. Joseph Hill Academy on Wednesday. Now we're here in Dallas Town with two sessions. I lost my voice in the midst of this, but I've been drinking lemon and honey 
every single day to come back. So we're coming back, we're ready. I'm excited for it today. And what I do, just so you guys know, I give everything that I have in every session, right? So I say to myself, all right, Jordan, you're gonna give everything that you have right now. And I'm gonna use all my energy, all of it. And then I hope that in, the, in, in between that session, I gain some more energy back and I come back to life a little bit and I have all that energy to give for the second session. So I, I leave nothing on the table for your students. I leave nothing on the table for anyone that's in there because you never know who needs to hear you. If there's 600 kids, 700 kids, but there's always someone in that group that needs to hear you so much. And I always focus on that. So even if I'm tired, even if I had a long week, it doesn't matter. It's a new group of kids. It's a new, new, new energy new everything so like it doesn't matter if I've done it a thousand times I want to bring something new every single time to your students and that's what's important to me because I know there's someone out there that needs to hear it right out of 600 kids maybe there's one maybe there's 10 maybe there's 50 maybe it's all 600 but I know they're in there and I make sure I don't miss those opportunities so I'm ready for today I put a lot of pressure on myself to give it all that I have and sometimes that kind of keeps me up at night but that's uh, that's that's how it goes. That's that's how I how I kind of go through my life. You know, I put pressure on myself throughout my whole life for everything. So we're gonna have a good day though. So I'm excited for Dallas Town. All right, we're checking out. Let's go say hi, everybody. Going. studio announcements we have a very special guest this is Jordan Toma what's up guys I'm excited to be here I uh, I'm from New Jersey I stayed here overnight to get here early for you guys and I, I've been on a lot of TV shows right and this is actually the best setup I've ever seen I was on the Today Show this is actually I think a little bit better yes that's <laughs> awesome to hear <laughs> we got a lot of cheers in the TV studio for that one this morning so Jordan, we're curious to get to know you a little bit because everyone is super excited to see you here today in our auditorium. All of our students are gonna have the chance to see Jordan who has a very special message. What would you say kind of the topic of what you talk to students about, just like general, really generally speaking? So wherever I go all over the country, what I really try to focus on, I'll share my story and my message, but my ultimate message is really your struggle is your strength, right? Because everybody struggles, everybody, no matter if it's in school, if it's outside of school, later in life, in the beginning of your life, we yeah. all have struggles. Right? We all, you know, we all come to school and maybe nobody really knows, but we all are dealing with something, right? And a lot of times we think we're alone. And I, what I really want wherever I go around the country is that everyone understands that we are not alone. We all struggle. We're all in this together, but your struggle really will become your strength. It will. So everything that you're going through will eventually be the reason why you are that person, successful person, why you are ha so, have so much grit, why you have so much perseverance. and. I don't want kids all over the country, high school, middle school, to ever give up during these times because these are these are the special times. These are the times where you change, where you figure out who you are, and 
and I didn't know that when I was when I was their age. So I want to make sure that 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 gets across throughout my story. I love that. I feel like inspired already. <laughs> so thank you so much. So a couple other questions for you. We hear you have a really big following on TikTok. Yes. Is so, that true? Well, TikTok. Yeah. So TikTok, I have 1.6 million followers. What? On Instagram. So do I. Yeah. Right. No. <laughs> I, I follow you. Um, and then on 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 Facebook, I have like 1.1 1. 1 million. And then on Instagram, it's like 600 and. 50, 660,000. I want to get that to him. I would like to have a million on all three platforms. Yeah. And, um, you know, and the thing about social media is, thank you, thank you. And the thing about social media is, guys, now, like, we live in a world where, like, you can really, uh, even young, like, you could build a business on social media. Mm -hmm. You have the platform mm -hmm. and it's free. And if you just, you know, have something you believe in and it's a positive message and you want to get out into the world, like, you know, start, start doing it and people will, will find you and you'll, you'll help a lot of people. And it's a, uh, and even if you're trying, a lot of kids always say, hey, Jordan, can you follow me back? And guys, just so you know, everyone at Dallas Town will post videos from today. If you guys see the video, say, hey, I'm from Dallas Town, I will follow everyone back. So I follow all the kids back. So make sure you guys do that. Um, but if you want to get on social media, don't get discouraged when you're posting and nobody's liking it, nobody's watching it, right? Just keep going, just keep going, and I promise you it all works out. So I used to get discouraged a lot, but it, it does work out. Very cool. What state are you from? I'm from New Jersey. Okay. Not too far. Not too far. Not too That's far. awesome. Okay, weather is similar to PA in New Jersey. Weather's similar. Yep, right next to PA. What other states have you been in, like recently? Oh, recently. So I've been to. I've spoken in uh, 35 different states, but I I just was in California last week. Um, I was in recently. I was in Valentine, Nebraska, which probably no one's ever heard of. It's in the middle of nowhere. You have to actually fly to South Dakota, and then I actually went to go see Mount Rushmore, which is really cool. That's cool. And then it's in the middle of a reservation. You drive three hours right into the town. Um, I was in um, Omaha, Nebraska. I was in Grand Forks, North Dakota. I was on the border of this really small town called um, Argyle, Minnesota, which is on the border of Winnipeg, which is on Canada. Uh, that's where I was just recently. And uh, but coming up, I'll be in Ohio. I'll be in. I'm going to be in Pittsburgh. I'm going to be in New York. I'm going to be in Illinois. So I'm all over the country. But um, but I love seeing like different parts of the country, and what I've under, what I've realized going to schools all over the country is that every, every, everyone's different, right? Everyone's going through something different, but really everyone is the same in a way. Mm -hmm. So it's really cool. Mm -hmm. That's very cool. Very cool. Do you like? Do you? What, what's your family? Can you tell us about? Do you have brothers and sisters? Yeah. Like, tell us yeah. about your family. So I have a twin brother, and I have a sister that's like a year and a half younger than us, and uh, we're all kind of pretty close. We all live close to each other. We all live, um, you know, within the same street. I go to my mom's every Sunday for Sunday dinner. She makes the best chicken cutlets. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Very good. We are so excited to have you here. So I have a special treat that I wanted to give you on the announcements live this morning. We have our very own Dallas Town Area Middle School t-shirt for you. Oh, awesome. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Dallas Town. Thank you guys so much. We're super excited for the day today, Wildcats, so please enjoy. Remember our Wildcat Way expectations that we went over yesterday. We've told Jordan how awesome this school is. He's already commented. His camera crew's already commented on how awesome our school it's is. It's awesome. It's awesome. And guys, I'm really excited to meet everyone. I have a lot of gifts for you. I throw them out. We're going to have fun. And uh, I like to give out a lot of gifts, but I, I and you guys, it's, it's okay to get a little crazy with me. I like it. And then, um, but most importantly, just when you're, when you're here today, just listen to my message, right? And then apply what I'm saying to your life, right? And your struggles. And then realizing everything that I'm saying is not exactly what you're going through, but you can apply it to some part of your life and use it and just become the person I know you guys can be. So I can't wait to meet everybody. Awesome. We'll see you very soon, Wildcats.